In short, I am a community member with a science background who's passionate about our Aina and our oceans. And so now I feel that it's worth asking each of you to consider the other voices you have been listening to. On May 3rd, a Melissa Takaaze, a registered paid lobbyist with the Hawaii Food Industry Association, testified as if she were a local community member with a journalism degree. However, this fake journalist obviously did not read the county of Hawaii's integrated solid waste management plan, or she might have known that the county's goal is to capture green waste, including food scraps and food contaminated paper, and then turn this into compost. And she would have known and she would have learned that the presence of styrofoam is the single most imp important barrier to achieving these goals that the county set. Then on May 16th, the council invited a polystyrene expert, Dr. George Crusan, to come address the, the committee. However, there was no disclaimer for his blatant conflict of interest as a consultant for the Styrene Information and Research Center, a group that represents approximately 95% of the styrene industry in North America. Crusan also came out and testified against bills in Honolulu and New York City. So this to me seems like asking a doctor receiving money from the tobacco industry to come talk story about the health effects of cigarettes. It's not sound science and his numbers were off. If according to the FDA we're exposed to f seven micrograms of styrene each day via polystyrene packaging, that's nearly 32% of our daily cumulative exposure and not as negligible as Dr. Cruzan had implied. And so that could, I would argue that that could be added to the, the dose that makes the poison that he so referred to. So I am here today rocking this green shirt to show my support for this very important measure and to remind members of the council that both Takaaze and Cruzan were paid to represent the interests of their clients. Whereas Hawaii Wild, they fund other nonprofits. Keiki, you'll hear today that you've already heard business owners, tour operators, and the public here before you represent our island community. So this is the third time I've taken off work and driven to the council chambers to share with you. And again, I'm speaking on behalf of Hawaii Wild Life Fund, but as a volunteer, not as a paid lobbyist. We represent a broad collective of teachers, scientists, researchers, environmentalists, and cultural practitioners, and Hawaii residents who are committed to protecting native wildlife and our communities, something this bill would surely do. So mahalo for your time, and I urge you to pass this today. Thanks. Mahalo for your testimony, both your testimonies.